Sheffield United have just lost 2-1 to Manchester United. And I've got to say, who saw that coming? Obviously, um, I think everyone expected us to lose this game. And, you know, despite a lot of negativity coming into this game, I thought we actually played decent. Uh, to sum it up in one sentence, I would say good, but not quite good enough. Um, as opposed to some of our previous games where there's been sort of major errors, um, especially in the past sort of two or three games. I don't think there's been any of those. We uh, conceded two goals, but the uh, the first by Scott McTominay was a sort of really good half volley, a little bit sort of scuffed and maybe took a little deflection on the way. And you can't really expect better of anyone there. Really, don't think anyone let us down for the first goal. Then the second goal is like a world class long distance finish by Delo. And really, you look at those and you say, look, nothing you can really do about them. Maybe you could argue that uh, Wes Fodrigan could have done better on the second one. But I think at that point, you're sort of getting down to semantics, really. He should have done, you know, 1% better on this, 1% better on that. But at the end of the day, um, that's what that's the difference in quality between Man United and Sheffield United. They've got, you know, the, the world-class players. We haven't. And that was just the difference tonight. I thought tactically we played much better than we have done recently you know particularly that first almost 20 minutes i thought we played uh, i thought we played much better than we have been recently sort of changed to a 442 or sort of like a 41212 almost um and we looked really good first 20 minutes i thought it was quite chaotic a little bit you know all over the place a bit messy almost but i thought it really worked out well for us i think we pressed Man United really hard we made it so they couldn't get a foothold in the game made a bunch of good chances and then yeah Obviously, I think we we're unfortunate not to capitalise on that good good spell for the first 20 minutes. We go 1-0 down. I thought you had a good response to go 1-0 down. Our heads didn't drop. And then, you know, we get a penalty, which I think is a perfectly fair penalty. End of the day, that's a letter of the law. His arm was out. You could argue that, you know, you have to have your arm out if you're going to jump or sort of move in the way McTominay did. But, but hey-ho, we've decided that, you know, that is an unnatural position. I'm going to stand up to demonstrate. So... This, I think it sort of hit when it was like here. This is an unnatural position. Uh, I'd say it wasn't. I'd say anywhere that your arm is is a natural position because it's part of your body. So this is a natural position for your arm to be in. Don't really like the way that they describe it. In my opinion, it should just be if the ball touches your, your arm or your hand at all, it should be a penalty. But uh, that's just sort of a bit pedantic again. Really, end of the day, let the law, that's a penalty. And I'm very happy we're given a penalty. And then I thought uh, McBurney took the penalty very well. Obviously, he loved scoring against Man United. Did it last time we were up, done it again. Fair play to him. And then uh, following the penalty, we sort of we lost our foothold on the game a little bit, sort of went all Man United's way. We managed to hold on until about, sort of, what, 70th minute, I believe, when Delo scored his goal. And then don't really think we were that good. I think, in particular, when uh, McBurney came off injured, we totally lost our foothold in the game because then our game plan of being able to hit it long to him, for him to win it. Sort of, it, it lost all of its effect, right? Because then we have Brewster and he can't um, win things in the air like McBurney can. I don't think Brewster had a lot to do. Ball didn't get to him that much. Um, I thought when he first came on, his sort of his first involvement and only involvement was sort of just whacking it from like 40 yards out, it seemed like. Which almost led to a goal because uh, Anana parried it because he's pony. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, he didn't score from that one. And then uh, following that, the game was pretty sort of end to end. Both teams had chances. We had a couple of corners. They had a couple of counter attacks. Garnacho should have scored. Uh, they said he was offside. I don't really think he was, to be honest. But but yeah, the game sort of just uh, flickered out at the end. I mean, the best part of the game was when Ten Hag's long lost brother ran onto the pitch and started giving it biggins to the main night played rolling around on the floor. So I think that sort of speaks volumes about the quality of the game itself. And I suppose the sort of main takeaway, well, I suppose there's two takeaways. The first one is that we're in bother if McBurney's going to be out injured for a while. And also you can speak bigger about sort of the injury problems at the club are are pretty poor. We've got so many players that are injured right now. It is mental. I mean, a lot of our, our key players are right right now. And that doesn't speak very highly of sort of the medical staff or even like the training facilities. There's clearly something wrong when all of our players get injured all the time. And uh, the other takeaway is that we're now almost a quarter of the way into the season and have only got one point. And that means that Derby, we're coming for you. We're going to get that point tally, I'm telling you. Right now, I think we're going to finish the season on about 10 points. Just based on what I've seen so far, I don't think we've been that good, uh, clearly shown by the, the table. But today's performance was a bit better than in the last few games. 
and that's good. And I think we should stick with this back four. Even if we have a couple centre backs coming back in, I think the back four uh, work better. Somehow we look better defensively. And obviously we're better going forward because we have less players playing in defence. So yeah, I think stick with the back four. Um, and maybe, maybe we can get more than sort of 15 points this season. Potentially, you know, fingers crossed guys. But yeah, uh, that's all I've got to say for this video. Thanks for watching.